What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of PC Weekly News. Don't forget if you're new here, hit that red subscribe button, give the video a like, and hit the bell if you'd like to know when new content comes out. So let's get kicked off with Vicarious Visions. So Vicarious Visions is now officially merged into Blizzard. The Tony Hawk 1 and 2 studio is now known as Blizzard Albany and will be fully dedicated to Blizzard games. These guys worked on the likes of Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, uh, Activision stuff back in 2005, Destiny 2, Guitar Hero, Skylanders, and so on. So this is not only a good get for Blizzard, but if the merge finishes up with, or the acquisition, I should say, from Microsoft buying Blizzard, this will add that much more talent uh, to what Microsoft and Xbox has to offer. So this will be interesting to watch and see what what happens here. And up next, we've got a little news for Bug Snacks. This was originally a PS5 exclusive, now headed to Steam and Game Pass. On April 28th, Bug Snacks will release on Steam and PC slash Xbox Game Pass at the same time. All players will get a free update called the Isle of Big Snacks, which adds three to four hours of new story content. On a new island, the jungle-themed Big Snacks, inhabited by, by Big Bug Snacks, as well as a few additions to the game. So, uh, really interesting. I believe this was just known as a time exclusive i'm pretty sure you guys can let me know but uh, it'll be fun to be able to check this out on a pc and game pass now we've got some more witcher 3 news and unfortunately the next gen upgrade has been delayed until further notice or indefinitely cd project red is bringing the game back to their own development team to work on this Based on recommendations from persons in charge of development, the company has decided to have its in-house development team conduct the remaining work on the next-gen version of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So uh, we don't know when this will be coming now, when the improvements for all the platforms for the game will be coming. It's already a gorgeous and fantastic game, and I was really looking forward to these updates to check them out, but looks like we're going to have to wait a little longer. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on over to GeForce Now news for the week. And we do this every single Thursday, of course. And we've got eight new titles, including a return by EA Games, which is great to see. And apparently those demos that launched last week are doing really well. And they've got another game for us this week. So without waiting any longer, let's go ahead and get into it. And before we jump into those eight games that we've got for this week, we've also got a new demo. Now, apparently the demos have been doing really good in their first week, and we've got another one being added with Terraformers First Step on Mars. This was originally released October 23rd on Steam in 2021 with uh, very positive reviews. Terraformers First Steps on Mars is a free prologue of Terraformers, featuring an exclusive challenge to lead humanity's first attempt at settling the Red Planet. Now, this game is free to play, so it's kind of funny where you would be like, well, I don't really have to buy the game, right? Anyways, no. But if you wanted to try the demo before you got in and added it to your Steam library, it just kind of saves you that extra step, even though the game doesn't technically cost you any money regardless. It would be a quicker way for you to jump in and check it out. So I still welcome the demo, and uh, I hope to keep to keep seeing these coming, not necessarily weekly, but whenever GFN can throw these on there, it's a great thing. So let's go ahead and get to the next thing, which is our eight games for the week, including a couple from EA finally. So let's get into it. And first up, we have Anno 1404 History Edition over on Steam, originally released June 25th, 2020. Relive the captivating gameplay of a true city building classic with Anno 1404 History Edition, now supported on GeForce Now. And next up is also a Steam release, and it's April 12th, 2022, so just about a day and date release there for Blast Brigade vs. The Evil Legion of Dr. Creed. Blast off in a 2D Metroidvania adventure, bursting with platforming thrills, deep exploration, and explosive action. Assemble a crack team of heroes to save the world in Blast Brigade. Our third game is supported on both Steam and the Epic Game Store, originally released April 30th, 2019, and that's Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark. In Arbiter's Mark, it's a turn-based tactical RPG with a focus on storytelling and strategic battles. Unfold a mature story as you progress through handcrafted scenarios, controlling your own group of Arbiters, which each character customizable from a wide selection of classes and abilities. And next up, we do have an EA game release, and this is supported both on Steam and over on Origin, and this is Need for Speed Heat. Hustle by day and risk it all at night in Need for Speed Heat Deluxe Edition, a white knuckle street racer where the lines of the law fade as the sun starts to set. Now you guys know this game came out November 8th, 2019 on Steam and on Origin, and it's a pretty decent game as far as Need for Speed goes, and I'm happy to see another EA game come. Speaking of which, our next game is our second EA game coming to GFN this week, and that's Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. 
If you're not familiar, this game originally came out February 23rd, 2016, and it's mostly based on a PvP style um, garden, uh, Plants vs. Zombies. I remember I originally played this game on iPhone when it was just kind of like a, a mobile game, and then I played the original two Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. So really enjoyed both of those, and this was a pretty decent game. So that's two games we got for GFN from EA this week, and I definitely welcome it. So next up for this week, we have Ranch Simulator. Builder, farmer, hunter, trader, ranching certainly isn't your average job. Think you have the skills to turn your family's run-down homestead into the most pro pro prosperous ranch in the valley? Then it's time to head out into the wilderness in this captivating single and multiplayer open world simulator. This originally released March 4th, 2021 for Steam. It's also supported this week on the Epic Game Store. Our seventh game release for this week is Sherlock Holmes The Devil's Daughter and this is originally released June 10th, 2016 over on Steam. Experience a fantastic adventure with unique gameplay that blends investigation, action, and exploration in a breathtaking thriller that will test the limits of your nerves and intelligence. And our final game for this week is Wobble Dogs, a 3D pet simulation where you raise your own personal hive of mutating dogs, physically simulated all the way down to their guts. Wobble Dogs is a casual and chill sandbox for players of all ages who want to care for their very own virtual pets in a surprising, unique, and stress-free environment. This is, was originally released March 15th, 2022 on Steam. All right, guys, there you have it. Vicarious Visions merges with Blizzard. We've got The Witcher 3 next-gen upgrade being delayed until further notice. And Bug Snacks makes its way beyond the PS5 for more people to play. And, of course, our weekly GeForce Now news update with the addition of the EA games and another demo. All right, guys, let me know what you think in those comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, and ring the bell so you know when I drop new videos. Thanks for coming to watch, as always, and I'll see you in the next one.